Hi guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to install macOS on an external SSD on your M1 Mac and use it as your boot drive instead of the internal SSD. For this video I'll be using the Samsung T7 USB 3.2 Gen 2 drive, but you could use any external USB-C or Thunderbolt drive for this, including an NVMe drive in an external enclosure. I'll link to some suitable drives and enclosures down in the video description. Before you can install macOS onto the drive, it needs to be formatted as APFS. Open Disk Utility by going to Launchpad, then clicking Other and then Disk Utility. Now select your external drive in the pane on the left. Make sure that you're selecting the physical disk, that's the one with the arrow next to it, and not the volume. It should say Physical Disk under the drive name at the top. If you don't see the physical disk in the list, go to the view menu and select show all devices. Then the physical disk should show up. With the disk selected, click on erase at the top to bring up the disk erase dialog. Choose a name for the drive, in this case I'm just going to call it T7. Then select GUID partition map as the scheme and the format should be APFS. Then you can click erase and the drive will be formatted. Make sure that you've backed up anything on the drive that you want to keep before doing this since all of the data on the drive will be lost when you reformat it. Once the format is complete you should see operation successful in the bottom of the window. Then you can just click on done and close disk utility. Now you need to download the macOS Big Sur installer from the App Store. Click the Apple icon in the top left and choose App Store. In the search box type Big Sur to find the Big Sur installer then click on view and then click get. This will start the software update utility. It will say finding update for a few seconds and then you should be given the option to download the installer. Click on download and Big Sur will start downloading. Once it's finished the installer will start automatically. Click on continue and then click agree and agree again. Then you'll be asked on which drive you want to install macOS. By default it'll only show your internal drive. So you need to click on show all disks and then you'll be able to select your external drive. Click continue and you'll be asked which user should be the owner of the new volume. Select your macOS username then click install and you'll be asked to enter your password. After typing your password click on unlock and the installation will start. After a few minutes you'll see a message saying that your Mac needs to restart to continue the installation. You can either click the restart button yourself or just leave it for 30 seconds and it'll restart on its own. Once it reboots you'll see a black screen with the Apple logo on the progress bar and the installation will continue. It'll reboot again a couple of times during the installation and after about 15 to 20 minutes you should find yourself at the select region screen. From here it's just a case of setting it up as if it were a brand new Mac. So you'll select your region, accessibility options, choose your Wi-Fi network and create a new user account. Once that's done you'll be logged in and you can use your Mac just as if you had booted from your internal drive. There is a slight performance hit depending on the drive you're using since an external USB drive is significantly slower than the M1 Mac's internal SSD. If you want to be extra sure that no data is being written to the internal drive you can open Disk Utility, select Macintosh HD under Internal in the pane on the left and click the Unmount icon at the top. Then do the same with the data partition. To select which drive you want to boot from at boot time, press and hold the power button when turning the laptop on until you see the message Loading Startup Options appear on the screen. Then you can release the button and you should see your external drive appear in the boot options. If you want to permanently change the boot drive, you can open System Preferences, click on Startup Disk and choose your external drive there. After doing that, it'll boot automatically from the external drive every time you reboot until you change it back. I hope this helps. If you have any questions, put them down in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.